Karen Spark Jones was a computer scientist pioneer who, amongst many extraordinary contributions, created formulas that are now used all the time by modern search engines to find the best results. Karen was born in Yorkshire, England, in 1935, to her English father, Owen Jones, and Norwegian mother, Ida Spark. Her early childhood would have been spent overcoming the difficulties of World War II. Food was rationed and tensions were high, and Karen's mother was almost trapped in Norway when it was invaded in 1940, but she managed to escape safely on one of the last boats to Britain. Despite the tough times, Karen worked hard and did well enough at school to make it into university to study history. After graduating, she became a school teacher for a short time, before finally entering computer science. And then she really got rolling. She wrote a PhD thesis that was far ahead of its time for natural language processing. And she continued at a breakneck pace, eventually publishing over 200 valuable research papers and books during her lifetime. And in 1972, she published the groundbreaking paper that introduced inverse document frequency, a technique that has become a gold standard among search engines. In the field of information retrieval, inverse document frequency is used for finding out how important a word is to a document. Often, if you're searching the web for a word, you want to be shown pages for which your word is important. For example, searching for Heather should show pages about Heather the plant, or Heather the name, or Heather bees honey, but not a 500-page book where Heather is mentioned once. To find out how important a word is to a document, you may want to count how many times the word appears in the document. A page about Heather honey would probably mention Heather a lot, but the 500-page book that isn't about Heather doesn't mention Heather very much at all. However, there is a problem with this. Some words are very common anyway, and will appear often in all documents, even if the word is not important to that document. This had IR researchers stumped. But Karen Spark Jones ingeniously solved the problem with inverse document frequency, a mathematically useful way of decreasing the relative importance of words that appear often in all documents. Inverse document frequency is still, in general, the most effective way of accounting for this effect. Karen continued to perform brilliant research until shortly before her death in 2007. To recognise her achievements, the British Computer Society created the Karen Spark Jones Award in 2008 and awards it to those who continue to perform outstanding research in natural language processing or information retrieval. Thank you, Karen for your pioneering work in computer science and for giving us the technology that enables search engines to be the invaluable service we often take for granted.